Hey family, how y'all doing? Listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, let me welcome you to the mental house, okay? Listen, Donald Trump, y'all, is furious after Kim Jong-un unveiled monster ICBM that could hit anywhere in the U.S., and new submarine launched missile, which showed he was building powerful weapons while he was talking peace with Donald Trump. Uh -uh. Oh my God. Trump reportedly expressed anger and disappointment to top aides on Saturday. Military parade in Pyongyang unveiled monster the new ICBM earlier in the day. It is larger than the Huasong 15, which is theoretically capable of reaching New York City. And it's larger than that. If functional, new missile will be the largest road mobile ICBM in the world. Markings on the missile indicated it was designed for multiple warheads. Jim, Kim Jong-un also showed off a new submarine-launched ballistic missile. Um, U.S. military experts believe regime may now have up to 60 nuclear bombs. And it follows years of failed talks with the Trump administration on denuclearization. <laughs> oh my lord nutbag got the codes so remember that too y'all 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 really know what <laughs> their mind let me let me go let me stay in the article president donald trump has reportedly expressed his fury over what appeared to be sophisticated new missiles unveiled by northern korean leader Jim, Kim Jong-un at a military parade on Saturday. Trump is really angry about North Korea missile parade and is really disappointed in Kim after fruitless peace talks an unarmed source told Vox National Security reporter Alex Ward. Among the new military hardware displayed at the parade in Pyongyang marking the communist re regime's 75th anniversary were what appeared to be a massive new intercontinental ballistic missile and new submarine launched ballistic missile. Visual analysis of the new uh, ICBM showed it is larger than the Haswang 15, which was previously North Korea's most advanced ICBM and is capable of striking anywhere in the continental U.S. of A. What y'all think about that? What do you... Inter, the ICBM stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Okay, that's the ICBM. And the SLBM is the... Um, Submarine launched ballistic missiles. Okay. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. And they are huge. They're huge. The new ICBM, presumably a Hiawatha 16, appears to be approximately 25, 26 uh, M meters long and 2.5 to 2.9 in diameter about 4.45 longer than about uh, and larger distance than the high swung 15. They added that we estimate a new missile could in principle deliver 2,000 to 3,500 uh, kilograms of payload to any point in the continental United States, much greater than the high swung 15 assessed to the same range. Indeed, the new missile has been correctly characterized as the world's largest mobile ICBM. 
in part because countries with ICBM generally seek to make their road uh, mobile uh, their road mobile ICBM smaller so that they can be more mobile and concealable. They theorize that North Korea may be working toward developing multiple independently targeting recently vehicles, technology that allows for multiple nuclear strikes with a single missile. See, and this is what happens when people detect you weak. Then they begin, um, man, you should see the massive fireworks display uh, provided by the North Korean government. They got fireworks to celebrate this. And it's huge. I mean, the country's workers party, they, um, you know, they, they, you know, of course they put on this show, a ceremony marking the 75th anniversary of the founding fathers of the, of the workers party. Of Korea at Kim Ung Sung Square in Pyongyang. Wow. It's a beautiful exhibition, I tell you. Kim Jong Un weighs during the ceremony to celebrate the, uh, the 75th anniversary. Unbelievable. And the thing about it is when you begin to Show all the cracks in your armor. When you begin to have a history like we have in this country, um, for some reason we think and thought that we're going to be on top all the time. We're going to bully our way the whole time. and There's no room for compromise. So we've just set ourselves up basically for other outside forces to come upon us, knowing how weak we are at this point in time in our existence. I don't even think we've never, I don't never think we've been weaker. I really don't. More vulnerable. Maybe um, earlier in our inception. But the United States is a power, most powerful nation in the world. And we've never been this gullible and vulnerable. And while we still have military might, don't get it twisted. It is from within that the cancer is spreading. And that's what worries me, you know. And then all I can do is, as being a student of history is think, let them eat cake. You remember? The French, the French ruled. Everybody ruled. And everybody wanted to take advantage of humanity in some kind of way and not wanted to be the gerrymander or the Khalifa over the people and treat them correctly. Everybody that the creation is allowed to have favor to to rule over the people. So, with that being said, it is what it is, as Donald Trump will say. Uh, what y'all think about that? What y'all think about these experts saying these missiles are larger and they likely designed to carry multiple independent vehicles? They got all types of stuff. Warheads. What do y'all think about that? I'd like to hear from some of y'all out there that know a lot about, because um, I don't know too much about all these uh, missiles and, you know, some of y'all um, who have, um, you know, fought for this country. And uh, first of all, let me thank you for your service. But some of y'all who know exactly um, what we're talking about here, please leave your comments down below as well, because um, I really like to hear them. And that's really coming from a, um educated uh, point. What uh, how I'm seeing how big these things are, and I'm like, what the hell? Capabilities to destroy uh the first one, the 15 um New York City, and now you're talking about something that has the capabilities to hit anywhere in America. Oh boy! All right, y'all, leave your opinion below, and I'll see you in the next one.